The highest ranking courtesan is referred to as Oiran, and she's on a whole different level. Her beauty and intelligence are unrivaled. Gotta be a demon. She's mastered every traditional yeah. art. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, and this is my wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 2, Episode 9 of Demon Slayer, Infiltrating the Entertainment District. Ooh. I wonder what we're going to do this episode. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I think we're going to infiltrate the entertainment. Yeah, but, but do we think we're going to run into a member of the 12 Kizuki in this entertainment district? It's a pretty large place, good place to get a bunch of humans if you want to eat them. Yeah, it definitely seems like there would be a lot of hiding places there, and that's kind of a similar thing to the underground in Arcane. We'll see if there's uh, a lot of demons lurking in there, but uh, if you're excited for this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for Demon Slayer coming every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they are all posted to Patreon right now in their extended full-length forms with like 10 to 15 minutes of, or around 10 minutes of extra footage per episode, unless it's longer. Like Mugen Train has like, going to probably have a whole 30 to an hour extra. Um, so if you want to see any of those episodes, make sure to check it out. All right. Are we excited for season two, episode nine of Demon Slayer? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Listen up! Jesus Christ. I He's... am a god! <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> That's the first bit of info you need to pound into your heads. So drive it in! You turn into dogs <laughs> if I say so! <laughs> Turn into monkeys if I tell you! Oh my god. So be ready to bend over backwards and worship me endlessly! <laughs> and remember above all else, I am a god! Oh, I am okay. a god. Wow. All right. He's got some great self confidence. Oh, this guy's crazy. <laughs> when Zenitsu says One that. Question, what exactly are you the god? Izui. Please oh tell me he's playing dumb. Tantro's like, oh, Good question. Which god? god? You have great potential. What potential lies okay. in a stupid question like that? Oh, I am the god animation. Of festivals. Festival. The god of flashiness. Yeah. Nice. There's no doubt about it. He's the god of stupidity and idiots. <laughs> Sparkling. Wow. Well, I am the king of the mountains. It's a pleasure to meet you, god of festivals. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of you. Something about you creeps me out. Would it be the boar's head? Maybe. You're kidding, right? You two are a match made in heaven! Yeah, they're literally yeah. like... You are creepy! I'll show Take you creepy! Take it easy now, we know it's <laughs> Literally. He's totally oblivious to the fact that they're basically the same person, isn't he? Yeah, they're different so fonts, funny. for exactly. sure. Right. That's enough fooling around. It's like bush variety and like high class variety. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, wow. He disappeared? Look! He's fast! Look how far he got! He's you guys have been training. You gotta go. Yeah. So this is the power of the God of Festivals! No way! It He's runs super fast. What are you waiting around for? We have to go after him! Gotta go! Please be careful! Yeah. Please be careful! Stay okay, another training arc concluded. And the new intro. Very fun. So this is the uh, entertainment district. It looks cool. I love this. Lots of places for being indoors and in the shade, too. I bet there's... Oh, some... that's a super good point. It's not open field, so I bet there's more demons around during daytime. Definitely. Would... Okay, you said inside buildings and shadows. How dark of a shadow does it have to be for a demon to be in there? I'm not sure. The example I think of in my brain is when Nezuko was being questioned on whether or not... Um, also, that's Uzui's sad past we're going to learn about. Um, but uh, I just know that when they were questioning Nezuko on whether or not she can be a demon slayer, they weren't fully inside. They It was a covered awning. Yeah. So it makes me think that shade... If it's like a sunburn situation. Sun contact, yeah. yeah. If you wouldn't get sunburned, I don't think you would die. Okay, Whoa, well what? then... Okay, what even is that from Nezuko? I need to know. What is that? They're like fairy light plants. Yeah. But what were you saying? 
Well, if it's just shadows, realistically, the only time demons couldn't be out and about is like high noon. Because think about the building shadows in a city. Yeah, maybe maybe it's not quite that way. It might just be you have to have something over your head type thing. Interesting. That's, maybe that's it. we're overthinking it. I bet you it's. I bet you are. There will never be a situation it. where it's like, no, the shadow's length is lessening. Like that's not gonna be. You know, like. Love the vibes. This is awesome. By the way, my friend. Uh, sorry, not my friend, Chris. He is my friend, but like, it, it, you guys know Chris. He's an entity. I don't have to say my friend Chris is what I was saying by that. Chris is my We're best friend. Not fr He's not my friend. He's my best friend. My best, best friend, Chris. Um, He said that this beginning of this arc's a lot. Is it like kind of like a mystery? So he thinks Love that. we'll like it. Amazing. Love the music. And I have to think if they had never seen Less a train before, they haven't seen stuff Try like this. Yeah, this has got to be overwhelming. We're only here to Try not to joints. stand out. Yeah, and okay. Do, don't get out of the Says carrots. the god of flashiness. Yeah. Stop it. What do you think you're doing? Where are you going? Come back, you two. Settle down, Inosuke. Get back here, damn it. I'm talking to you too. Are you listening to me? It's so bright. It looks like it's daytime. Allow me to introduce Whoa. you to the Yoshi It looks like it's daytime. Hmm. I wonder what that, that was not be. so subtle. But I wonder what that's going to mean. Because demons can come out. Because it's like it's daytime. They can't come out in the daytime. Demons can't come out in the daytime? Think about it. The sun. Think oh, fuck. Yeah, Jesus. No, you're, no you're I'm reversing, reversing it. Yeah, it. Never mind. No sleep, Montana. <laughs> we'll keep a counter. <laughs> oh, it's like the daytime. Did you get that not so subtle reference? It. Oh god. You cute me though. To introduce you to the Yoshiwara Entertainment District. <laughs> but look, there's the long building stretches. Could just be in there. Yeah. Flashing, isn't it? <laughs> He's at home. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> you. <laughs> Literally Get me out of here. <laughs> Don't stand out. Kid with the yellow hair go. What? Mean. Oh, aren't you a handsome one? Why don't you come and join us? If you're hungry, we have candy. He's gonna be taken for a ride uh, so fast. Yep. Sorry. I, don't, I mean that in the metaphorical sense. He's about to just lose all of his money and all of his possessions. Yeah. See ya. Not so fast. <laughs> Thank you. Kind of Take notes, you three. During the day, this place is quiet as a ghost town. But at night, it roars to life with all kinds of people. Perfect Ideal time for demons. For a demon. Yeah. The women here are also unique. Many become courtesans and are sold off to pay their debts. In return, oh. they're given food, clothing, and lodging. And if they climb up the ranks, a rich man might buy out their contracts. The highest ranking Whoa. courtesan is referred to as Oiran. And she's on a whole different level. Her beauty and intelligence are unrivaled. Got to be a demon. Every yeah. Art. A woman you think it's Muzan? Bathed in her I don't think so. Resources to Music's too nice. Star. <laughs> she sounds incredible. I think that's enough reconnaissance for now. Let's go. Wonder how that's going to come into play. Yeah. Sorry to impose. Listen up, you three. Once you're in the entertainment district... You should try to seek out my wives. I'll search for any info on the demons. Wives? Okay. This is completely ridiculous! Huh? You're joking, right? How dare you order us to waste our time finding a bride for you, huh? What? Why did I ever ask for something like that? Shut up! Just because a freak like you has no luck with the ladies doesn't make it okay to use demon slayers like us for such a pitiful reason! We're not helping you find a wife, you creep! Okay, so he's angry he got pulled away from the girls. He's angry that uh, this guy just asked him to go find him some wives. Right, but isn't that an extension of, like, he's already mad? I think he's more just saying the task is just okay. really not okay. suitable. But I think he's saying find the wives I already have. Ryan. We're not helping you find a wife, you crane! Like, that's more of a gotcha. I'm talking about my wives who've infiltrated the entertainment district and are hard at work gathering intel. I stopped receiving regular check-ins, so I need to ensure oh. they're still safe. Oh. I suppose that is what a guy like you would fantasize. 
You damn punk! Here's your proof. Letters that were sent to me by Kasagai Crow. There's quite a lot of them here. She must have been undercover for quite some time. Oh, well, I do have three wives. Oh. Did you say wives? In three? Zenitsu, calm three down, wives. bro. No way! How did you of all people manage to get three wives? This is some kind of sex show! You got a problem with polyamory? <laughs> But I noticed that in the letters they sent you, they all seem to keep reminding you not to stand out when you come. <laughs> Which is why I'm sending you three. So what are we going to do exactly? The boar's head, Not though. stand out. Disguise yourselves, of course. And as much as I hate it... They're gonna get fun outfits? Way. All three of my wives are brilliant ninjas known as Kunoichis. I was almost certain that this district would be the perfect place for the demons. But when I went in as a customer, I couldn't get any info on it. So I sent each of them in to get closer than a customer ever could. Since I've already narrowed down the likeliest houses to three, you all will search for my wives there and try to gather information. Suma of the Tokito house, Makio of the Ogimoto house, and Hinatsuru of the Kyogoku house. A ninja squad? Okay. Fun. Wow. What did he say? They're probably all dead if they stopped writing. <laughs> I mean, not, not inaccurate. I, not what you should say, either. But I brought back all of the items you requested earlier. What could those be? It's a pretty bin. They need to take notes on Tanjiro. He's just like... About the mission, chilling, just... Straightforward. Yeah. What? Oh my goodness. These three girls are certainly a homely bunch, aren't they? Oh no. Wow. I love the just one dimension. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, we're not looking to hire at this time. I beg of you to find it in your heart to reconsider. I believe that under your training, madam, their beauty will bloom in no time. That's very flattering, but... <laughs> <laughs> not even... <laughs> well, I suppose taking in one wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> I can assure you that you won't be disappointed. You may pick whichever girl you'd like. Okay. If we can choose, Goodness I gracious. Think we'll take the one in the middle. I promise to work as hard as I can. Great. Now I'm stuck with you two brats. I'm gonna have to pay someone to take you. Can we talk about the hair though? Like, <sighs> very cool. He looks very cool. Yes. Stop talking to me. I don't want to hear it from you. Are you upset you have to dress <clears throat> up as a girl? You said you'd do anything I asked, right? I don't give a damn that I'm dressed up like a girl, you moron. I'm mad I can't go flirt it's with people. <laughs> oh, it's his fate. I think you're such hot stuff. It I mean... me the hell off. Seems like there's a whole bunch of people swarming around over there. The voice. <laughs> it's so good. Now he's just two steps removed from exactly. the boar's head. It's really funny. Ooh, oh, is that this one of the wives? Or is this the main person? Well, the thing oh, is, if this place is only alive during the House night, you, you don't know who's a deem demon. Exactly. There's no way to distinct. There's no the way to distinguish. <laughs> There's no way to distinguish. Pleasure. Yeah. Oh. Were you telling me that's your wife? How did you get with a knockout like her? And what? You have three of them? Do they all look like that? Huh? Do they? She's not my wife. Why does she walk so slow? <laughs> she would instantly if we were in the mountains. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Excuse oh my. Excuse me, sir. But I'll be taking this girl back to my house now, if that's all right. I see. Um. What? And you must be... Forgive me. I am the chaperone of the Ogimoto house. How could I refuse? May I ask what it was about her that caught your attention? Yes. Her beauty is unlike any I have ever seen. Take care of yourself out there, Inoko. <laughs> oh, that's a funny little like. Inoko is like, kind of near Inosuke, you know, like, like the oh, woman yeah. version. Mm -hmm. the here? Oh, the last bell of the ball. Take a look at her now. Very sad. I mean, he's just crying his eyes out at all times. Then he's gonna open his mouth, and they're gonna be like, "What?" I'm gonna train this woman like nobody's business! When I'm through, she'll be in more demand than Kyokoku House's Warabihime or Tokito House's Koinatsu! This girl 
information. Okay. <laughs> so they're infiltrating into these houses for information. All right. Well, that didn't go quite how they wanted to, but it got the result. Yeah. Except for Zenitsu, but not, maybe he'll try to market himself a different way, you know, do some Yeah, I mean, he can still something. get, like... Ooh. Yeah. See. Shredding. Guitar solo. This is how he gets in. Wow. That girl sure can play the shamisen. Do you know anything about her? I know she has a good ear for music. It's a pity about her looks, though. <laughs> oh, my... I'm surprised she got taken in here. She may be hideous, but I heard the man who brought her here was dropped and gorgeous. Hideous? Oh. Yikes. Was he really? I wish I could have seen him. The chaperone lady was totally <laughs> smitten. <laughs> I've never been more certain. That girl will rise to the top. What? Is that one of her, the connections? Speaking for her. Oh. She intends to get back at the man who abandoned her. That girl has serious backbone. Does <laughs> it need to have backbone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you take her, you can have her clean the toilets or do whatever you want, really. Hell, you don't even have to pay. Just take her. I'm going to make that jerk pay for this. Just watch me become the number one whore out in Yoshiwara. I don't know about that, Zenitsu. Okay. I don't think that's the energy we want to bring to this, this <laughs> establishment. Sorry to bother you, but we're short staffed. Could you help carry these up the stairs? It'd be my pleasure. I'll take care of it. No problem. Thank you, Sumiko. Nice to have a hard worker around. I apologize for removing your makeup yesterday. I feel like it's partially our fault the house madam found that scar of yours. Relax, oh. my dear. Uh. There's no use lashing out at this poor child. I'm fine. Just thankful that they're letting me work here. <laughs> they're all going to be so helpful because they're so strong. My oh, my. yeah. That new girl is rather burly, indeed. Are they all fucking crashing? <laughs> they say the Kyogoku house's madam died from falling out of a window. Oh. That's awful. Okay. Let's be careful, okay? And have you noticed some of the older girls running away committing Ashinuke? That's scary. Ashinuke. What even is Ashinuke? Nuke. That's a lot of baggage to carry. There we go. I think they're all gifts for Oiron Koinatsu. Ashinuke means to run away without paying off your debts. And it's really bad if you get caught. Why do they do that? Some people try running away in order to be with the man they're in love with. Right, like Oiron Suma did the other day. Oh. Uh, Suma. That's Mr. Uzui's oh, wife. Oh, they went she's to escape. actually in love. You two yeah. Be spreading okay. rumors. After all, nobody knows her whereabouts now. Who knows what happened to her? You brought these up by yourself. Thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Little Come clue here. found. That's mm -hmm. fun. Take this candy as my thanks. Keep it secret. Those look Gosh. really good. Yeah. Hey, like butterscotch. Candy. Me too. Me too. Now, now. I gave you some earlier. Did Oiron Suma really commit Ashinuke? May I ask why you're so curious about that? Oh. She has her guard up. But I've got to find a way around it. This feels like Baldur's Gate I've been playing. It's just... <laughs> like... Intimidation, <laughs> persuasion, you know, like... Iron Suma is... She's actually... Believe it or not! She's my... Elder sister! Okay. He, that's good lie, Tanjiro. That was so okay. believable and that not That maybe would have worked if you didn't look like that when you said it. Yeah. Oh, older si I think oh. I understand now. So you were sold shortly after your sister. That's right. The entire time she was here with you, I was exchanging letters with her. I promise you she isn't the type of person who would commit Ashinuke. Oh, I had Yeah, no she idea. probably escaped because of a demon or something. <sighs> mm-hmm. Maybe that's I the demon. As well. Yeah. I could hardly believe that Suma would commit Ashinuke. There were no signs that she was infatuated with any man. But they ended up finding her diary. I heard they read through the entire thing and found she'd written about running off. Yikes. Ashinuke. Demons couldn't ask for a more perfect cover-up. Oh. So true. Finish, You're right. only assume that she'd run away. The Interesting. Forged. I pray that you're safe, Miss Suma. But if you're not, we're going to rescue you. Another day and nothing. 
Yet I can't shake this feeling something is creeping in from the fog. How can they avoid detection with such ease? Yeah, no smelling or detection Could it be either. That the demon residing here is an upper rank demon. Is it maybe just like a lot of smells That's in the city? The oh, we might be in for an ultra flash yeah. fight mm -hmm. to the death. This has got to be the demon. Yeah. It's so hot, I feel like I'm gonna die in this stupid thing. I'm wearing a stupid outfit is Oh, because he never wears clothes. <laughs> She's been locked up in her room ever since she got here. She mentioned not feeling very well, but keeps refusing to go to a hospital. If she doesn't do something, the madam's going to drag her out. I brought a meal to her room, but she didn't come out to get it. What's happening? So I ended up having to leave it outside Machia. Her door. That's Uzuri's wife. About time we found a new Okay, lead. so they think she's not hiding. Feeling well shouldn't be enough to stop her from checking in. Well, if she is sick, she'll be inside her room. Guess I'll take a look. Careful, Inogo. You'll hurt yourself <laughs> rushing around like that. What a quiet little girl. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> yep. You've got the voice of a dying animal, so don't say a word. Oh, <laughs> he really does have a crazy voice. voice. Yeah. It'll just make you creepier. That's even possible. <laughs> he really <laughs> just lays it on thick. So mean. Whoa, no. whoa. This is the answer me thing. Answer me. Who was it that you were writing all of these little letters to? Oh, a demon's controlling all those. What was your name? Oh, I remember. It's Machio. Oh, she's being okay. held prisoner. Answer me at once, Machio. Is it in this house? That would be. Ooh, what do you think of that? Could it be? That's it. You're not even human to begin with, are you? <laughs> oh, it is the same demon. Oh Perhaps wow. Perhaps it wasn't obvious, but that's the sort of thing you should keep your mouth shut about when you realize it. Oh that's my God. The smartest way to live. What are your first thoughts? Okay, the the like streamer situation looked like the same thing from the intro that we just yeah, saw. Yeah, I think it must be one of the like lead people in one of these establishments that yeah. uses those yeah yeah so it seems like it's like a fabric that wow very cool dang very scary and definitely has a prisoner but like trying to get information and figure out who's been doing that mm -hmm. um we'll delve into that more but uh that's about where we're left for this episode of demon slayer thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe down below to keep up with us every saturday at 12 p.m eastern standard time if you can't wait and want to see episodes early new episodes come every friday at 10 a.m eastern standard time on patreon and these episodes are already posted in their extended full-length forms we have a lot to discuss before we do that. Where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions after every episode of any show we watch, join, the, join using the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Um, it seems Jinchurki87 asks, it seems that Anosuke has found himself in the house with a demon. Tengen earlier ponders the possibility of an upper rank being present. Do you think this could be it? Do you think there may be more demons in other houses? I think that demon is definitely potentially an upper rank. Definitely and potentially contradict each other. Yeah, it's like... I think it's definitely likely that the demon in the house is a super high level demon. Um, both because of the way that people were generally talking about the house, like it being well known and like tough to get into. And then also just based on the way that people were talking about her. I feel like it makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then I think there are definitely tons of demons everywhere. Yeah. I feel like this could just be all these houses could just be a cover for all the like demon houses or something. Well, and the thing that I'm thinking of is like the rows are so long, which like yeah. if you were theoretically a demon in a demon village and everyone had their own like house, you would be locked, like you would be an island, right? Like you can't. Yeah leave but with everything connected like this they kind of i mean it's it's like a tunnel system but they can definitely move yeah i'm interested to see how the movement between houses works and if we're going to explore that and like 
with so many people, it's going to be hard to kind of like discern who's who. And like, yeah, I don't 100%. know. Uh, in terms of the demon itself, seeing something that looked like it was using a bunch of sashes or whatever those were mm -hmm. in the intro, as well as the animation quality of when we panned so down, true. made me think this might be an upper rank demon. Um, and uh, I mean, we're going to have to see what exactly those powers are, but it seems to be just complete control over a bunch of different tendrils, which is just very, that's a powerful ability. Yeah. Um, so, uh, interested to see more, but let's go to question two. Question two. Ashley Garcia asks, we found out that Ten Tengen has three wives. Do you think it's more of a business type marriage or do you think there's purely love amongst the four of them? My inclination is business just because I feel like if he was in love with all of them, which I don't super buy that possibility in general, but, um... I don't think he would send three like random kids. You would send someone more professional. If he loved them the way that someone should love their wife, you wouldn't send three kids you just met to like go find them. Yeah, that makes sense. That's yeah. And I part of me wonders whether he's too optimistic or like not quite because like when Inosuke was like they might be dead or like captured and he's more just like I want to make sure they're like check in with them like it feels like he's he's just taking it I think that maybe it hasn't dawned on him how much danger they're in or he's hiding right how yeah scared he which is. all of those things make me think business arrangement yeah part of me thinks business the other part thinks that um he didn't outwardly talk about his love because it's so casually normal to him which could also be a possibility that they love each other and it, it's as if well then again if it was it, the way he acted if he if it was monoton monogamous and it was one person it would be odd how casually he was talking about his wife exactly so therefore extended it feels a little odd mm -hmm. yeah okay all right let's go to question three. Ooh, just your average fangirl asks what are your thoughts on the disguises that our main trio used to go undercover in the entertainment district i'm not quite sure why they made them so ugly <laughs> um yeah that that's was... just really setting them up for failure i don't especially when come on you're supposed to be about flashiness like yeah and you're like look you know cla more like clashiness Right. Nice. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, it explains why he was looking for uh, women demon slayers. Sorry. Yeah. Women demon slayers to like more easily be able to blend in. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't see there being a potential strategy for just giving them all really bad makeup. Um, and especially when they were like with Inosuke, they took it off and were like, wait. Wow. This you is look a great. beautiful what? person. I think it's because maybe. Ooh. Do you think Tengen is jealous of Inosuke? Like he's like saying oh, he's creepy and weird because he's like, damn, that guy's more chiseled than me. You know, like maybe, but then I feel like he would have only put makeup on him, not all three. Mm. And I think the fact that he's I like hope. the Ooh. god of flashiness yeah. and did something so objectively ugly means it's deliberate. I have a perfect reasoning why he would put makeup on all of them. All right. And no because he's jealous. Tanjiro because of the scar. Okay. Zenitsu because he's ugly. <laughs> like, like I think that's I think it may, it checks out. You know, like they establish like maybe, but I mean, okay, Zenitsu. I actually know, I completely I buy would that. feel bad. Yeah, and I would feel bad if it wasn't for Zenitsu being kind of creepy all the time. Well, like, and the other thing is, they talk about it so much in the show that he's just not it's an like, attractive bro, person. Not, yeah, which. If that's just like, do you remember proofs in geometry where it was like given and then you, if the show is like, this dude is really ugly, I feel like it's not mean of us to then move on with yeah. the proof. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I agree. And on that note, we'll see how he does in the uh, future houses and how Nosuke helps out in this. Uh, do they have their swords? That's what I'm wondering. Um, I feel like they probably can't with their yeah like new looks we'll see but uh that is about it for season two episode nine of demon slayer are we excited for episode 10 can't wait all right let's get it let's go